What is 100%? It's the idea that the only acceptable percentage of engaged students is 100%. 100% of the time, with 100% effort. 100% does not mean we as teachers adhere to the model of because I said so. Instead, 100% requires that we focus our expectations around the concept of student achievement. In other words, 100% of students must engage with the content 100% of the time with 100% effort in order to advance learning. Here we've got our question A, B, C, or D. I've just turned your polling tools on. Please use them to tell us which of those pieces is the misplaced modifier, that describer that doesn't seem to be quite in the right place. A, B, C, or D. And remember, we're only using our writing tools as directed, so only to write the answer if I've asked you to write on the board. Okay? So Sharita is going to do number one. Kaya is going to do number two. Jasmine can do number three. Jacob V can do number four. Jacob S can do number five. George can do number six. Ella can do number seven. Brayden can do number eight. Alexis, go ahead and do number nine. Carl, number ten. Alex, number eleven. And David, number twelve. All right, and I'm going to set the timer. And boys and girls, if you are not writing one of the answers down right now for us, I want you to see if you can tell your learning coach what the answers to all of these are and in about oh, less than a minute, I'm going to have you guys share with me what the answers are for these. While we wait for the rest of my friends to fill out our answers, we got Sharita and Kaya's, Jasmine is number three, Jacob V is number four. Ella is number seven. Alexis is number nine. Carl is number ten. 